Hi, thank you for joining us today for Ladies on Track at Following Titus 2. If you like today's Bible study, I invite you to share it with somebody that you think might enjoy it. Give it a like and follow us here. Hi, this is Gina Carruthers with Following Titus 2 and Ladies on Track. Thank you for joining us for devotion today and our heart thoughts. I have Kaylin Schrack with me today, and I'm glad she's here uh, to help share her heart thoughts about this devotion. Our scripture setting today is found in James chapter 3 and verse 17. And I'm reading out of the New King James Version. It says, But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. So, it talks about wisdom. And you know what, Kaylin? The Word of God tells me if I pray for wisdom, God will give me wisdom. Right. Right. My friend, we all need more wisdom. Yes. Right? Yes. So, absolutely. What's the definition of wisdom? It's the state of being able to um, determine what to discern and judge what's um, right and true. Okay. So, to be able to discern what is right and true. Sometimes that's challenging in life. It is. The challenging part of that is people look at wisdom in their own eyes. And yet, what should be our guide for wisdom, Kaylin? Well, ultimately, the Bible. And like you right. said before, to ask God because we in ourselves don't have wisdom. Like, we don't have godly wisdom like we should. We, have we may wisdom. have knowledge. Right. But not godly wisdom. Right. Yes. And because I believe God can give us, with godly wisdom, we can receive discernment. Right. Right. And discernment is not something that I can attain on my own. No. It's not something. Not. So this next question in our Ladies on Track Bible study, it asks us which part of this wisdom component. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, uh, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and hypocrisy. So our next question is which part of this wisdom component is challenging to you and um I'm, i don't want to put you on the spot asking you but i want to ask you first which part of it which part of that component of implementing wisdom into your life is a challenge so do you find one of these parts challenging yeah actually, i do yeah actually two jumped out at me i think um partiality can be difficult because you there's people we look at everybody different right like there's some people you know you just click with and some people you don't so it's oh there no and you kind of sometimes bend the rules and it's you're not having to be impartial you're yeah. being you're not being partial like you should um and then um um yielding um willing to yield i'm usually pretty good about that but if i really strongly feel about something it's hard for me to yield and that's not always the right way to be so yeah we're and so we it. ask for wisdom in it mm -hmm. right Absolutely. so there's certain specific areas in our life that we can ask god for wisdom lord help me be yes. willing right. and give me wisdom in yielding what to yield to right. some things you shouldn't yield to right and other things that we have to yeah um the things that <laughs> my challenge in wisdom is uh gentleness uh and i don't know i i think probably a lot of people find me as Maybe, maybe not. It's not one of my, it's an attribute I, I honestly have to pray for continually and have wisdom in right. in gentleness because um, I don't mean to not be gentle mm -hmm. in my nature, but sometimes it's just, it's just like, you know, some people can say, well, I'm Irish and so I can just blow my top or I don't know if that's what Irish do. So if you're Irish, please forgive me. But or whatever they can right. say, you know, because I'm this or because I'm that, I can just be this way. And and while that might be true that your upbringing or your uh, background may lead to some of those mm -hmm. things, that's not an excuse for our behavior Right. not being pleasing to God. And so right. I continually pray for wisdom and gentleness. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I, the aspect of, of, with, of that, what you just mentioned, the discernment really does come in in that because like you said, there's sometimes you don't yield and there's sometimes maybe it's calls for not being as gentle, but you have to have discernment to know the difference. Right. You know? Yeah. So, and you know what? I believe that the Lord 
can take those rough edges of our nature because that what can what can be a strength can also be a weakness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he can use those for our benefit. Right. So Look at your life and see how you want to implement wisdom within your life. First, it must be pure. Mm -hmm. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. Where, where do you want to implement greater wisdom mm -hmm. in your life? James is constantly challenging us. Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome and it's painful. Mm -hmm. It's awesome mm -hmm. and painful. Thank you for joining us for Ladies on Track today. I hope you were blessed. Thanks, Kaylin, for being with us. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Bible study at Following Titus 2. If you liked it today, and if you enjoyed it, if it spoke to your heart, why don't you give it a like, share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it. We'll see you again next time. Bye.